Hello everyone, Karen here from Dark Moon Emporium and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how I do relief engraving in Xtool Creative Space. When you set uh, an object, a shape, some text, uh, when you set that object's parameters to engrave in XCS, uh, the laser will burn that object and leave the surrounding area untouched. But what if you want to engrave the background but leave the object untouched? So I wanted to make some foam coasters that had the design uh, sitting on an engraved background. And just to make it more difficult for myself, I wanted to add colour. Here's how I got on. I'm going to begin by making my design. Uh, first, I'm going to make a circle 100 millimetres in diameter. And this is going to be a cut layer. Next, I'm going to make another circle, and this one is 95 millimetres in diameter. And this is going to be an engrave layer, and I'm centering it with the first circle that I made. I need another circle. This time, it's 60 millimetres, and I'm going to put it onto another engrave layer so that I can see it. And then I'm going to align everything so that the circles are centred with the smaller circle in front. And with both of the engraved circles selected, I'm going to go to Combine and then Subtract. And that should take the smaller circle away from the larger one. Next, I'm going to add the motif in the middle. So I need one more circle and I'm making this one 55 millimeters and I'm aligning it with the center. So this coaster is gonna be for an imaginary coffee shop in a role playing game that some of my friends have been playing for years and years and years. And I, I want an image of a Klingon from Star Trek in the middle. I found the image I want by doing some searching on the internet. So I'm going to import it and then I'm going to size it to fit the 55mm circle. I'm centering it, select it and the circle, and then use Combine and Subtract again. Now I'm going to add some text, and I'm going to put it on another engrave layer so that I can see it. And the font that I'm using is one that I've downloaded from the internet, and it's called Santana Black. I've got caps lock on, and I'm going to just guess at the size for now. I'm going to roughly place the text where I think it needs to be, and then when I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to grab the curved text handle to shape it. Then I'm going to copy and paste the text box, and I'm going to edit the text and curve it to fit the circle. And I'm going to change spacing to 1, and that makes the letters a little bit further apart so they're not so squashed up. Then I group both text boxes, select them and the circle underneath, and again combine and subtract. So the design is nearly done. And I'm just going to bring in a star shape, uh, resize it, and adjust the angle a little bit. And once I've got it how I want it, I'll copy and paste it. And again, put it where it needs to be on uh, the other side of the mat. And then group it, select the group and the circle, and again, combine and subtract. And now I'm going to save the file before I'm ready to send it to the laser to be burned. Okay, so here is the coaster that I cut using the F1. And it's come out rather well, I'm quite pleased with it. However, I want to take the design one step further and add colour to the raised portions. And this is where it got a bit tricky and I had quite a few fails. 
So to stop any paint from being absorbed into the foam, I'm going to heat seal it. Uh, and I'm just running my heat gun over the surface until it changes texture. And it's very easy to see in real life. It happens very, very fast. So uh, don't take your eye off it for a second. So this side has been heat sealed. I gave it two coats of matte sealer spray on and uh, it's had um, a couple of coats of white spray paint and uh, this was the result I was getting uh, so I wasn't very happy about this this was even worse um, this was my uh, this was my first run through the F1 and this was the one after I adjusted the settings and I think this one is is pretty much where I want it to be. So this one I treated rather differently. Stay with me, I'll show you what I did. Next I'm going to mix some PVA and water to about the consistency of single cream. It's roughly one to one. It's not critical, it just needs to be quite runny. And I'm going to give the foam a few coats of the mixture to really seal it well. This is on its third coat of uh, watered down PVA and I'm just going to let it dry and then I'm going to give it a couple of coats of white acrylic uh, and I'm going to apply that with a little sponge roller. And this is what happened when I burned it on the F1. Not the result I wanted at all. So. I had a bit of a think and I realised that the laser for the F1 is fixed at the centre and as you get further away from the centre the laser has further to go uh, and it's a bit less powerful and it's also at uh, an angle and if you can see on the edge of this coaster it is cut at an angle. So I switched to using my D1 laser. The laser module is attached to a gantry um, which moves backwards and forwards and the laser beam is always going to be going straight down and so the cut is vertical. And here is the final result after a couple of coats of spray sealer. I'm going to be honest, while I'm pleased with the result, it was an awful lot of work and I reached a point where I was ready to give up but I was just determined not to let the process beat me. However, if the material was something other than foam, uh, the process might have been less frustrating. But there we are. That is it for today, and thank you very much for joining me. I would love it if you came back again sometime, but for now, bye-bye, and have a great day. Music